All right, I'm here with manager Kelly Nicholson. So a nice win for you guys yesterday. You had Kobe on the mound there. Happy with his performance? Yeah, we were really happy with Dylan's performance. You know, we wish that he could have maybe gotten through that fifth inning and gotten a win for himself. Uh, but I thought Dylan threw the ball really well, um, commanded his fastball pretty well, and threw the breaking, breaking ball for strikes, and for the most part kept the ball down. So, yeah, we were really happy the way uh, Dylan threw the ball yesterday. All right, one player that we don't talk too, too much about is Phil Pfeiffer. What does he bring to this team? Why is he special? We saw him a little bit longer than normal yesterday. Well, there's a lot of reasons why Phil Pfeiffer is special. Uh, hey, he, he can run it up there about 93. He has probably as good a left-handed curveball as I've seen on the Cape this summer. And the really great thing about Phil is that he really, really competes. And uh, it was nice to see his performance yesterday. You know, we got him out there, and, and uh, Woody left him out there for two innings and struck out three and didn't walk anybody and didn't give up any hits. And it was a... We really needed that out of Phil yesterday and uh, kind of what we expect of him. So he kind of set the bar for himself yesterday, and uh, we look forward to getting him out there on the mound again real soon. All right, also yesterday you guys had some lineup changes, and it seems like you're going to be doing that again tonight. It seems like you're pleased with that. Yeah, we like the lineup we ran out there last night. We're going we're gonna to pretty much run the same lineup out. We'll, we'll DH Jake Hernandez. He's been swinging a good bat, and we'll you know hit him behind Conrad Greger. And, we're just going to flip Fick and Gragnani. I think Fick is probably a little more comfortable in left than he is at third base, and Grags is probably a little more comfortable at third than Fick is. So we just thought that kind of made sense. Do you think there's a reason that Ficcicello has not quite come comfortable up at the plate yet? Well, I think he's swinging the bat better, and I think he feels a lot more comfortable from the left side than he does the right side right now. But in, in watching his BP today, both sides look pretty good. And, uh, you know, coming off Omaha, he had some time off, and – I think you're going to see about right now, and uh, you're going to start to see him kind of come into his own. All right, you also have a couple guys that have left us. Wise left today. Carson Whitson left a couple days ago. Why do you think all these people are leaving, and what are their stories, those two? Well, they were both a little tender. Uh, Carson's arm was, was bothering him a little bit, and he was not going to be able to get it healthy in time up here, and so he needs to go back to Gainesville and and uh, get with their trainers and people back in at the University of Florida and get healthy so you know he can get back into the first round where he belongs. And then Jake Wise, same thing. Um, he had a little tendonitis. It was going to be 7 to 10 days, and it was just wasn't going to be enough time to, to get him going for the playoffs. So he talked to the people at Arkansas, and they thought it was best for him to get home too. So uh, two really, really good players, and you know it hurts that we don't have them, but... We're, uh, we can't focus on what we don't have. We have to focus on what we have here, and we're really happy with what we, what we have. So just going to go with that and see what happens. Okay, we were also, also supposed to see Clark on the mound tonight, but you're starting Arakawa. Why is that? Clark was a little tender uh, in, his, in his last bullpen, and uh, we had shut Arakawa down for a little bit, and he's feeling good, and Dylan's not. But Dylan was feeling good yesterday, and we expect him to start for us uh, you know, next week sometime. All right, great. Thank you so much, All Coach. Right, Susie Milano, Manager Kelly Nicholson. More Firebirds pregame coming up next.